This tutorial is going to show you how to write a quick iPhone application that will convert your Celsius degrees into Fahrenheit. So if the user enters in some degrees Celsius, let's just say three, and clicks the Compute Fahrenheit button, the Fahrenheit degrees will be output to the screen. So let's take a look at how we do this using Xcode. So the first thing we'll do is open up Xcode. We'll select create a new Xcode project. And for this Xcode project, we'll select single view application. And for the product name, I'm just going to name this temp control. We want to make sure we're using the Swift language and that we're developing for the iPhone for this example. And then I'm just going to create my repository right on my desktop. Now we want to head on over to our storyboard and go ahead and design our interface. The first step is going to be to resize the view controller so it looks more like the iPhone that we're developing for. There we go. So now it's a little bit more slim and it'll give us a better feel as we're developing this thing and how we want it to look. Now the first thing I want to do is bring over a text field for our user to be able to enter in the Celsius and for now I'm just going to drag these items on. The next thing I want is a label <clears throat> and I want another label where the Fahrenheit will be displayed and then finally a button to activate the conversion one more item, we're going to have a image view for some kind of little clip art to make the interface a little bit more interesting. The next thing I'm going to do is kind of lay these out in a way that I want it to um, look nice for our interface. And let's start with the text field. The first thing I want to do is provide some placeholder information so that the user kind of knows what to expect to put inside there. If I highlight that input box and I go over under placeholder on the right hand side, I'm just going to put a zero in there. And what that does is puts a zero inside that text field from the very beginning. So if we go in and we run this in the simulator, let's scale this down a little bit so you can see it easier. All right? We can see that in that text field, there's a zero already. All right? Now, for our label, I'm going to just give the user some information that we are computing the degree Celsius. So I click inside that label and over to the right hand side, or you can just paste, um, type it out inside the interface itself. I'm just going to let them know that they're entering in the degree Celsius. Now for my button, I'm going to make this bigger because I'm going to actually um, prompt the user that we're computing the Fahrenheit here with this button. So I'm going to change the text. I'm just going to type compute Fahrenheit. And then finally, this label is where the converted temperature is going to be output. So I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit. I'm going to center it 
and the default text, since my placeholder value is zero, the default text for this will be, um, I guess I'll, I'll do 32 degrees Fahrenheit just to start off. And I don't think I need to say Fahrenheit twice. All right. So, so far we have an input box for a user to enter in some um, number that uh, represents Celsius temperature. And we're going to compute Fahrenheit to some Fahrenheit temperature. Now, I want to load up my image view with an actual image. Right now, there's no image in there. So I have a some clip art of a thermometer already saved. This is what it looks like. And I have it on my desktop. So what I want to do is just drag that file over and place it somewhere within my temp control project folder. I want to make sure that the create folder references is selected if needed and then say finish. Now when I click on my image view I can just head over and under image view select that image and the thermometer is going to show up. Now I'm going to change the mode of the view to aspect fit so it'll hold on to um, um, the normal height and width from the image and look a lot nicer on my interface. I'm going to line everything up with the guides provided and I can move that up and I can move my button up a little bit closer to the input box. The next thing I want to make sure that I do is for this input box, I want to make sure that the right type of input control is going to execute. In other words, I want to select the keyboard. So if I head over and select keyboard type, I can make sure that a new number pad comes up because of course they're entering in some number. So that'll take care of that. Now what I want to do is connect these outlets up and with some code. So I'm going to head up to the top right hand corner where you see two circles. And I'm going to open up my view controller file. Slide over my interface so I can see both. And I can see where my view controller class starts right here on line 12. And what I can do is just get myself some a little bit extra real estate here by closing these windows out so we can see exactly what's going on. Now the first thing I want to do is connect up these different areas that are going to have some kind of actionable event. And those areas are my input field. My button is going to have some kind of an actionable, action, actionable event. And then this label will change based upon whatever the user enters. Of course, we're going to compute the degrees Fahrenheit instead of having some static string there. So the first thing I want to do are create outlets for that. So I want to click on the item, hold down the control key, and drag over into my view controller class. So as long as I insert that in between my view did load function and my view controller class, it should look nice. Now for this one, um, this is where they're going to input the Celsius. And so I'm going to name this guy input Celsius. I'm going to say connect. Now I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra room here. The next thing I want to do is connect where I'm going to output the Fahrenheit. So I'm going to activate that label, hold down the control key on my keyboard, and drag over. I want to put this one right underneath so it'll look nice and neat. 
and I'm going to name this one output Fahrenheit. And connect up. So now I have a couple of outputs set up for those guys. And finally, I need to work with my button. Same thing, I'm going to hold down the control key, drag over, and I'm going to define this function right above my view did load function. The connection is going to be an action, and I'm going to name my function compute Fahrenheit. Connect that up, and we can see it's created an empty function for us to write some code in. Now, I like to go ahead and give myself a comment so I can keep track of these functions. All right, now it's inside this function is where we're going to type out our algorithm for determining whatever the Celsius to Fahrenheit will be. So the first step that we want to do is convert the string that's going to come in off of our, uh, from our input field into an integer. So remember any data that comes in, um, here let's open this up so we have more room for some code here. Um, any, any data that comes in off of the keyboard is going to come in as a string. So we need to make sure and convert that string over to, in this case, an integer. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm just going to name it converted number. I'm going to typecast it as int. And the data that I'm going to type cast as int is going to be my input Celsius and the text that comes in. Then I'm going to assure Xcode that basically that I know what I'm doing and I'm bringing in this as an integer purposefully. In other words, I'm not going to have an empty text field there. Now, the next thing that I want to do is take that converted number and I'm going to multiply it times 9 fifths and then add 32. That's the common formula for converting a Celsius temperature into a Fahrenheit temperature. Finally, I want to work with getting whatever that converted number is back out to the output screen through this text field. So what I want to do is take output Fahrenheit See, that's what I named that text field. And I'm going to say output Fahrenheit dot text. Change it to, and then I'm going to load it up with a string. Now, the string that I'm going to load it up with is my converted number. And then I'm going to use my degrees F symbol as part of the output string. All right, now let's take a look and see what's going on. We still have uh, a warning symbol here, so let's figure out uh, what we did wrong. Now, if you click the um, red symbol, it, it tries, Xcode tries to give you a hint. And I can see that, obviously, I typed it as a file extension rather than saying text. Right? So I left the E out. If you were following along, be sure that you spell yours correctly, or perhaps you already did. So now, I've added my algorithm in for converting that Celsius to Fahrenheit temperature. And then I have an output sequence to let that be output um, straight to my output Fahrenheit label. So let's take a look in the simulator and see what happens. All 
All right, so here's our simulator, and when we click in the input box, say we want to enter in 23 degrees Celsius, we click Compute Fahrenheit, and notice that changed it to 73 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to go again, 8 degrees Celsius, click Compute Fahrenheit, we've got 46, and then finally, 0 degrees Celsius, Compute Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So in this tutorial, you learned a very simple way to create a quick Celsius to Fahrenheit temperature app.